Hello everyone. In this video, we'll discuss about how to write data in a file using Java programming language technique. So in Java programming language, we have a Java IO package that is an input and output stream package is there. So we have a two types of stream class. One is character oriented, next one is byte oriented stream. So we can perform file writing concept like we can write data in a file in two techniques in in two ways one is using a file writer concept another way is using file uh, file output stream uh, class okay so both are stream class defined in java.io package so we need to import the package called java.io package so we have to include in our program right so i stands for input and o stands for uh, output right so here we are going to talk, talk about only output, output stream, right? Writing, right? So how we can write data to a file. So if you want to write uh, data in a file, there are two ways. One is file writer we can use. Another way is file output stream. So what's the difference between these two techniques is file writer is based on character oriented stream class. So we can write character data directly to a file. We can, there is no need of conversion of a character to a byte and then we can write that conversion is not needed. We can directly write the character data to a file. So we have a write method is there. You can use write method and you can pass the string data directly. And first this data is written to a buffer variable. So in, uh, there is an internal buffer is used for writing for uh, for faster writing. So in internal first the data will be writing written to the buffer and the buffer size is 512 bytes so 512 character 512 character by default when the buffer gets full uh, filled only the data will go to the file actual it will go to file when the when it reach 512 uh, 512 byte characters so that is a normal process of writing so first the data will be written to the buffer when it gets 512 character the data will be moved to the file content and the buffer will be cleared right but uh, uh, I need, I cannot wait for up to 512 character, right? So even if I write uh, uh, 5 character also, immediately I want to write the content to the file. Immediately I want to write the file content to the file. So there is a need for a flush function you have to call. So flush function, what it will do is, here I have given the notes, right? Flush method writes the data to the file immediately from buffer and clear the buffer. So that is the advantage of using flush method, right? So it won't wait for up to till 512 characters. So immediately the data will be written to the file, right? This uh, this thing we can apply. This we can up, uh, uh, we can uh, we can achieve using another function also. There is a function called close method. So close method also will do the same process, but it will do one more extra process. It will close the stream. So since it is closing the stream, you cannot write more if you write if you try to write more you will get a exception you will get a error so uh, once you close the stream you cannot write more data okay but flush function you can call many times uh, even if you call flush function you can still you can write data after calling flush function also you can write data keep on you can write the data right so that is the difference between close and flush method right so this is about a uh, file first technique file writer to write character or any data right Similarly, we have we can write data using file output stream, which is a byte oriented stream class. So here you have to write only byte data. Okay. So string data you cannot directly write. You have to convert the string data to bytes. Okay. So now look at the write method. You can see write method will take a byte array. So it will take a byte array as an input. So you have to give the data in a format of byte array variable. And same thing only here also buffer is used like here and 512 uh, byte only it will be writing and uh, after 512 only it will go to the file so in order to speed up the process we can call flush method or close method okay so this is about how we can write data in a file uh, using java programming uh, language and now i'll show you one uh, example program demonstration how to write data in a file using both file writer and file output stream first i'll start with a file writer so first we have to create a project in the Eclipse ID. In the project, add a new class file for file demo 1. So create a project called file demo 1. 
uh, in this program i'll include this main function also i'll include so now the program is created like this right so in this uh, program first we need to use the file writer class right so i'm going to demonstrate uh, the file writer class so here in this file writer class the file writer is basically is a predefined class return in uh, it is available inside the io package so first we need to import the java.io dot star you can use or you can write file writer now here also when you write data in a file also there is a way uh, there is a chance of uh, exception so we need to use try catch block you can gen write a general try catch block is enough and you can able to display the error message if there is any error message right so now the basic setup is done now the next thing is I, I want to write the data right so to in order to write the data what I am going to do is I am going to select one location where I want to write the data so I will select this D drive D drive test directory here I want to create a new file and I want to write data I want to create a new file see so look at this I have a sample.txt file is there this file is I am not going to use I am going to create a new file so in that new file only I am going to write the data right so file writer has one more benefit is if the file is not available in that location it will create a file okay so let's see how to do that first you have to create an object for file writer inside this object you have to keep the location of the file d colon slash test directory the file name can be new or it can be a old file right so here you have to understand two things one is the file name the file which you are going to read it can be a old file sample.txt or it can be a new file for example i'm going to create a new file called abc.txt so uh, this abc.txt is not available in this location so it will create a file okay there is it will create a new file so let's see how to do that okay now the file is created and it is link file writer is created and it is linked to the location right now we can start writing the data right so to write the data you have to call fw.write you can call you can pass the uh, string data directly okay for example i want to write welcome to file writing process okay and fw dot will write another statement welcome to java program okay so now this these two lines will be first it will be written to the buffer and from buffer we have to flush it immediately okay so we have to use flush method or you can use close method also you can use okay so after flush method we can ensure that the content will be written to the files right so uh, here we can say that file writing done okay completed you can display the message okay now look at this i am going to execute the program so now if i execute the program now look at this directory now currently there is no file is there so you can when you when i execute the program uh, one new file will be created now this file writing is done and look at the directory abc.txt is created automatically and if i open the content the file content is available now i'll just maximize it uh, now look at this uh, file content the file content see abc.txt file contain uh, the content welcome to file writing and welcome to java program right so uh, this way we have to write the data in a file using file writer okay so now look at this when i'm writing uh, it won't keep a new line character uh, it won't automatically okay so we have to write the new line character. for example welcome to file writing if i want to bring the next welcome to java program next line we have to write uh, we have to write the new line character so you can write like this directly you can give slash n okay so we can write the file content uh, we can write the new line character okay so now if i run the program and i'll close this file if i run the program again file writing is done right we are getting the message file writing done go to the location open the file now see the effect it is actually uh, changed right file writing in first line second line only the, the next data is go to second line since we have written new line character okay and one more thing you can notice that 
the old content is deleted right so when i am writing when i am second time when i am running the old content of the file is deleted right so here you should understand that it, by default it is in overwriting mode the by default file writing process is in overwriting mode if you want up and mode suppose if you want for example well, now the current file content is welcome to file writing welcome to java program okay so if i write some other content for example uh, if i if i uh, if i run the program one more time i want this existing content i want to keep i want to preserve okay and i want up and the new content i want up and the new content okay now let's see how to do that okay so in order to append new content i will put this uh, slash n to just to see that okay here also i put just slash n so i will get uh, uh, welcome to file writing in next line welcome to java okay so in order to append that we have to open the file in append mode okay so for that you have to use file writer file name and put comma and put true on boolean flag called true so the true makes here the true means it's a append mode okay it's a append mode of writing okay so append mode of writing so now if i run the program again the previous content will be available in the file previous content will be available in the file i'll close this and i'll open the file again now look at this see two times the content is there right if you notice that welcome to java file writing welcome to java program welcome to file writing welcome to java program. okay the two times the content is written why the, the, this is a already existing content this is a new content i'm writing okay so if we run if i run again three times it will come if one more time if i run again three times it will come okay so this is called up and mode of writing okay so in some cases if it is needed we can use this up and mode okay so this is about file writing concept okay file writing concept using write method we can directly write string data next we will see file output stream to write byte oriented data in a file okay so that we can create one more program file demo2 we will create another program called file demo2 so include the main method so in this uh, uh, in this program uh, we need that uh, previous coding some codings will copy from here and we need we'll just update it uh, for example the entire coding i'll copy and i'll remove the sum of the coding okay so this coding and all i'll remove it okay now look at this now let's see uh, how we can use file output stream file output stream for writing the data in a byte format to the file okay here just remember the file writing method is it will take byte data it won't take string data okay so first we need to create file output stream object fos is equal to new file output stream okay so the difference is actually instead of file reader you have to use file output stream and remember one more thing is you cannot write string data directly you have to write you have to convert as a byte right so now here i am going to give a another file name for example to demonstrate uh, i have abc.txt sample.txt right now i am going to give a vmax.txt vmax.txt okay so this file will be opened for writing now let's see how to write the data okay how to write data so for example i want to write the data like this this is the data okay so now uh, the data is actually welcome to file output stream so this is the data i want to write okay so now what you have to do is first thing is you have to convert this data as a byte array so create one byte array variable then how will you convert in string handling in string handling there is a function called get bytes uh, take the string data call the get bytes method so this method will convert all the characters as a byte okay then you have to call the fos object the fos object is this one right so we have to call fos dot write and pass the array the complete array you have to pass then don't forget to call the flush function also you have to call flush function otherwise the data will be available in the intermediate buffer it will not come to the file so flush function you have to call immediately the data will be coming to the file okay right so this is about actually how to write data in a 
uh, file using file output stream class okay the difference is you have to create a file output stream class then convert the string to bytes by using this function then you have to write okay so now i will execute this program file writing is done now let's go to the location vmax see that file name we have created vmax.txt right so file name is created here and uh, now you can see welcome to file output stream that content is there right right one more time if you want to add more right more data like for example uh, here i have written welcome to file right output stream okay i'm going to write one more data welcome to java okay welcome to java i'll write okay so now uh, let's run this again so file writing completed i'll close this file because it is uh, updated look at this welcome to file output stream welcome to java also added to the file content okay so if you want to bring this welcome to java in the next line you have to use slash n so you have to go there where you have to go in the data you have to put a slash n okay for example slash n okay so the slash n will uh, will make the next content in the next line okay it will it will write a new line character okay so when i run one more time you can see the slash n so i'll close this file I'll open the file again look at this now uh, welcome to file output string and that welcome to java is coming in the next line okay so this is about how to write data in a file output stream uh, by converting a string data as a character byte oriented data and we have to write then we have to call flush function okay so uh, with this we have completed and now we have discussed about file reader for uh, for file writer for writing a character oriented data like this and flush function calling flush function writing new line character then in this program we have discussed about how to write data in a file using file output string which is a byte oriented data so since it is byte oriented data we have to convert the string data as a byte format okay